Hi, I'm Christian, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to revive seemingly dead files from your recycle bin. We'll do this using a great free tool called Recover, and you can get this from recover.com. Now this is from a company called Piriform, who also makes CCleaner uh, and Defragler, which we've uh, featured both many times. They're both excellent free tools. Uh, CCleaner, which is actually a registry editing tool, and uh, Defragler, the free defragmentation tool. So this one is, is new, Recover, and it's basically designed to find files that have been permanently deleted, or that appear to have been permanently deleted, uh, and will actually recover them for you. So it's recover.com, and you can actually download it from there. Um, so we're just going to go to our Downloads folder, uh, quickly install it, and just run the setup. Agree to the terms. Put it into your destination folder. By standard, it's the uh, program files. Now, as with many installs, that there will be things that you might not want, such as the Yahoo toolbar, etc. So I'm just going to uncheck some of those, and there we go. It's now on our desktop. Now, in this tutorial, what we were going to attempt to recover is actually some photographs. Now, as you'll see from the recycle bin, if we just open that, it's completely empty. I've, I've literally just emptied this. Um, it had a few hundred items in it, and they're, and they're all gone. So if we just open up Recover, and you'll see you can now choose what type of file you want, anything from pictures, music, documents, uh, even video recordings, or other files. And that's quite important, because if they're sort of system files or something, um, you would want to check that, but it is pictures that we're going to go for. So let's click next. Now this next screen, file location, is actually quite important because this will really determine how long the recover process will take. Um, so if it's it's definitely something in the recycle bin that you've uh, deleted and gone, oh dear, I really didn't mean to empty the recycle bin, then you can go straight to that and that will probably speed up your recovery process. And you'll see there's there's things like My Documents, that's often where your f files uh, and pictures are stored. Um, so you, you might realise you've deleted it directly from there. Um, and what Recover also does is uh, actual removable drives uh, and storage cards for your digital camera. Now that's very important if you've actually uh, connected your camera, deleted the files from that. You can actually use Recover uh, to, to get those files back off the card, rather than using the card's own software, um, Often uh, companies like SanDisk or Le uh, Lexar, they they do have excellent software to recover uh, digital photos themselves. Many others don't, and re Recover really is an excellent way uh, of getting around that problem. Now, the pictures I deleted were in the recycle bin, but for, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to say that I, I'm not sure where uh, the files were that I deleted, uh, and, cl and click Next. Now, this next window... Uh, will actually prompt you to to start the recover process, and it will also say that you can enable a deep scan. Now, this will take much much longer, and will go into your deep system files, um, and really only should be used if it's something you've deleted a long time ago, or you really didn't have a clue who or or, or where it was deleted, because usually you will have some idea um, where you deleted that file and uh, and when. So, uh, there really is no need to do the enable deep scan. Uh, just yet. If, if you don't, uh, if you actually run the recover process and you don't get the results you want, you can go back and, and try that. But uh, we must warn you that it uh, will take quite a long time, anything from uh, one hour to, to, to many hours. So let's just quick start and we're going to go through the normal recover process, which is much speedier. And here we are, you can see it's scanning uh, two drives on our machine. It's actually one drive uh, with two, two partitions. And there we go, that's quite a, a speedy process there. Um, and because it's a, a recent deletion that I've actually done in the recycle bin, uh, it can actually recover the previews of the photographs I've just deleted. Now, very old uh, deletions from, from weeks or months ago will actually lose that preview, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the file isn't recoverable, such as these. It'll say no preview available, but these are JPEGs which should be recoverable. So for these purposes, I'm just going to select uh, a couple of the ones I recently deleted and a few of the ones where there's the preview disappeared. And the, now these were older deletions. 
check a few of these. Um, I'm just going to say that these are some of the ones that I want to uh, get back. Okay, now once I'm ready, I can actually click Recover. And the next step, obviously, is to select a location for where you want these files to be recovered to. So I'm actually going to uh, go into pictures. I'm just going to I can actually make a new folder. So I'm going to put recovery folder. And this is where I want any of my pictures, which I've accidentally deleted, to go into. I click OK. Now when you try um, and recover, you may get this warning uh, saying that uh, it will just warn you to say, are you sure you want to restore to the same drive where they were deleted from? Uh, and this can actually reduce the chance of a successful recovery as the program prefers to copy from, find from one drive and copy to another. Uh, I know these are relatively recent deletions, so, so this should work. So we're just going to say, yes, I would like to uh, put them into that pictures folder. So click yes. And it uh, just says it's recovered 15 files in a, an extraordinarily short time. Uh, it's it's unlikely that it will be that fast for you unless it's just a couple of JPEGs that you've got. Uh, if it really is quite a lot of pictures or folders, it, it will take longer. So I'm just going to click OK. So those files should now be uh, recovered. Uh, and just before we uh, have a look into the pictures folder, just check they're there. I'm just going to show you the switch to advanced mode. Just click that. Uh, it'll go into this different format. Now this is quite useful if you've actually, you actually find yourself having a problem file. Because as you see here, the JPEGs listed here have a green uh, sort of symbol next to them. That means that they're, they're in a good state and, and will be recovered. But ones in yellow or red uh, will, be, uh, will have de degraded less uh, and maybe have a chance of being completely unrecoverable or partially recoverable. So this just shows you uh, a simple drop down sort of menu of all the file names and their state. So we can actually see in this example, because they're recently deleted from the recycle bin, they're actually all green and uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get those back. And as I say, we're just going to check that. So we're just going to go to our pictures folder and there's the recovery folder we just made earlier. Open it and there we are, that's the pictures uh, that we selected and we've managed to recover. And just to verify that, we can actually open one of these. This is Windows Photo Gallery and there we are, it's in its perfect state uh, and we thought we'd lost it forever. So that's Recover. It really is a fantastic free program, which you'll find on your disk as well. And we really re recommend you use it. You really won't lose those precious memories or vital files ever again.